What's up guys, thank you for joining for another episode on Worth Thinkers Now. We will jump straight into this video. So recently I did a video on uh, TI, which uh, is an American rapper. But I also just want to comment on Kelly Komaro because you see, the thing is uh, this. Uh, Ricky just made a recent video and uh, he spoke about, you know, uh, the association of uh, unsafe people with safe people, you know, mingling together and stuff like that. And uh, at the end of the day, guys, uh, when you want to associate yourself with our camp, then there is standards and principles and values that you ought to consider before you come out and you label yourself with that label. And so at the end of the day, there is a standard to which the label comes with. And so, for example, if you walk around with a certain label, there is something attached to that label. Christ's perfection is the standard of our morality, is the standard of our behavior, is the standard of our character. And so we ought to walk in that manner to present ourselves a living sacrifice, holy, blameless, and good in the sight of the Lord for our reasonable service. And so if you want to reject those things, it's fine. But then you also need to understand that you can't label yourself with something that you are not. And so this is what she had to say about the whole situation. Christian, Our God, our God, the very same God you're talking about is the one that blesses me on a daily basis because he knows exactly who I am. I don't try and put up a front. I'm no gospel artist. And I don't wish to be. I'm perfect as I am. Moaning King as a fan, it's very simple. And so there's this thing that we need to understand that God caters for the safe and the unsafe is his creation. Whether you accept salvation or not, God still created you. And so at the end of the day, there's something that is called common grace, which falls upon everybody. There's common grace which cater for all of us. Whether you are saved or unsaved, it still will fall on you, the blessings of the Lord. But now if you use that uh, in order to say that it's because of your wealth and because what you accomplish in life, that's why God favors you. There is no such thing. And so that person is self-deceived and is moving if he's not already in a self-righteous state. So over the years, over the times, uh, celebrities has really, and I mean really, put pain in the gospel in misrepresenting it to a way where Christ is the perfect standard. And then here comes you that calls yourself perfect, but then your life doesn't resemble your belief. And so where do we classify you? Where do we put you? And so when we look at somebody the Bible says, present yourself, what? A living sacrifice. Romans 12 verse 1. Holy, blameless, acceptable before the Lord. And so you can't put the standard upon yourself because God does that. So God gives us the standard by which we come to him and which we now present ourselves before him. And so it's nothing to do with your or anything else. So at the end of the day, I just want to say that those guys that listen to these people as a means of uh, their motivation, their inspiration and stuff like that is not wrong. But you need to consider that if you are taking biblical advice from somebody that is reckless in handling the word of God and which is also not careful of how they use the word, the terminology when it comes to biblical Christianity, you ought to be careful in how you associate yourself with those people and how they speak to you in your life. And guys, so at the end of the day, make sure that when you go to, when, for instance, if you want your car to be fixed, who do you go to? A doctor? Of course not. So don't let somebody which didn't study, which didn't handle the word of God in a correct way, teach you. And so basically, you need to, there's a saying which says, practice what you preach, right? And so at the end of the day, there should be fruits that represent 
that we are Christians. And that is the thing that makes us stand out. It is by the fruit you will know them, whether they are true or false. And so guys, do make sure that you leave a like on this particular video. Also, hit the notification bell, subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And I hope you guys like the new setup uh, with the black screen and all that. And so uh, also do make sure that you check out the pinned comments to see if there's any other videos that was posted today. I'll catch you on those ones. Until next time, guys, may God bless you.